I'm making a story using Microsoft PowerPoint I'm going to make a digital story so I've got a blank slide here and I'm going to go to design go to the background styles go to format the background picture and I'm going to browse to a file I've got it on my desktop in a folder that I've called custom animations and I'm just going to go so I can see the thumbnails and I am going to choose this one, Horror House, and say Insert. All right, and that's okay. I've now closed that. So that's going to be the background for the first part of my story. Now I'm going to get Insert two characters. So I'm going to insert picture. Now I know I've saved them there, so there's Monster 1. I'm going to insert him make him a lot smaller than that and he's going to just go over there I'm now going to insert another picture and I've got a prepared call out it says growl I won't use that one I will use the raw one so insert picture we use the one that's called raw insert that Again, it's very big let's make it much smaller and we're going to have that he is going to be roaring okay all right we're then going to get another monster so insert a second monster and we will have this one this time monster 2 make him smaller make the image smaller and he's just going to go there and again he will be speaking also he'll be saying blah right so I've got them all in position of how I want them to look on the screen Let's just move him up a bit right now what I'm going to do now is add some custom animations so I'm going to click on him first and we're going to go up to animations and going to go to custom animations and we get this list over here I'll just make it slightly wider so you can see right the first one we're going to do we're going to add an effect to him and on his entrance and I want him to fade in so there he is he's fading in that's fine I've got medium I can alter the speed that's fine I'm having him fading in so he's the first animation then I want this to appear Again, I want that just to fade in like that and if I click this little arrow I want it to start after the previous so I want it to start after he has faded in this one here we're going to add an effect and his entrance we're going to add a motion path I'm just going to move this back a little bit because I'm going to put him actually off the slide and what I'm going to do is add a motion path so I'm going to get draw a motion path and I'm just going to get the curve one I'm going to click it on him first and then it's literally just clicking to make the till he gets to the position that I want him to be in and then double click at the end and he will then come in so he went a little bit too far so I can now just click that and just take it in a little bit just try it again by clicking play so that one's come in first then the raw and then he's bounced in as well okay and stop right this one we're going to add an effect again we're going to have that one fade in or we might even use the diamond effect for that one and again that will be after the previous one so after the second monster has come in the second speech bubble will appear as well we'll test it now so this is the first one then the second one the second monster comes along the path and there's his speech bubble I'm just going to move his speech bubble slightly up a little bit okay now what I want to do now is add some sounds so I'm going to go insert and sounds from file and I've collected in that desktop folder 
couple of sounds that I'm going to use. One is the suspense music, which I'm going to put in first. And just say so when clicked for that. And what I'm going to do with that one, I'm going to make it go up. So I'm going to reorder it. I'm going to have the suspense music being the first to come on before any of the animations. Okay, and that means the second picture will start after the previous. Okay. At the moment, I've got a little icon that shows that the music is coming. There it is over there. But what I want to do is click here and go to Effect Options. Click on the Sound Settings and tick the Hide Sound icon during Slideshow. And say OK. Alright, so now the music will play. The, the monsters will appear. When this one appears, which is picture number 3, I now want to insert another sound file, which is the... Tyrannosaurus Rex sound file. So we'll click that and just see where that's gone. There it is there again. I'm going to make it go up so that it comes after. This one is picture three. We're going to make it go up just under picture three. Whoops, suspense music needs to go to the top. Picture three needs to go down. Just altered that by mistake. And I want the Tyrannosaurus Rex to go up as well. And I want that to play at the same time. So not after the previous, but with the previous. Let's just test it now. Suspense music is playing. Alright, we've got that one in the wrong way. So let's take that one down. This picture one is the one that needs to come first. Picture one, then picture three, then the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check it now. Suspense music. Monster one appears. The roaring at the same time. Right, we're going to add a, another sound file. So insert sound file again. This time we're going to get the Chewbacca sound. All right, again it's there and again I'm going to make it hide so we don't see it when we're playing the slideshow and again now it's got to go at this play at the same time as picture five so let's click on Chewbacca take it up underneath picture five but make it play with the previous one. So it'll play at the same time as the speech bubble appears and I just make sure that there's that the button for the Tyrannosaurus Rex is hidden as well. Right, let's play it now from the beginning. Suspense music. First monster appearing. Roaring with the speech bubble. And the speech for that. Oh, well done. Okay, that was the first slideshow. I'm just going to add a new slide and I stick with the blank slide. I'm just going to put in one text box for the title. And we'll call it Story Writing, Storytelling with Custom Animations. Okay, now I'm just going to make that bigger. And let's make the whole thing bigger. Make it about 48. And let's choose a nicer font than that. Let's choose, choose this one. Just center the text. Okay. And we'll just design the background for this particular one. All right, and now I'm going to add, and on that one I need to make sure I hide those background graphics. Just drag it to the top so it's the first slide. And I'm going to just add a monster into here. So insert picture. And I'm just going to put this one in this time. There we go. And again, we are going to make him walk in 
from the side. So let's go down. Have him off the side first. And we're going to add an effect motion path. Draw the motion path. And at this time, I'm just going to have him coming straight in, going towards the right. So he'll just slide in like that. Click him to make sure it goes in far enough. So you want him to go to about there. Let's try it now. Make sure it stretches from him to the position that you want him to go to. So he should just now slide in. He's going quite fast, so I'll make him go in a little bit slower because he's a monster. There we go. Okay, and then when he arrives, we are going to have a speech bubble appear for him. He says, oops. That's going to appear up there. And when that makes an entrance, it will be fading in after the previous one and we'll make it fade in quite slowly. Right, play it now. In comes the monster and fading in speech bubble. OK, and stop. We now just need a transmission from this one, first slide to the second slide. So we'll go and uh, animations and I'll just choose a pixelated one and that will be fine. Right, so slideshow from the beginning. Here comes the monster and into the second one. Right, what I'm actually going to do now is use something called iSpring Free, which you can download free from the internet, and I'm going to convert that into, uh, I'm going to click Publish, convert it into a Flash file. I'm going to give it a name, so uh, Monsters. Choose where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put it in that custom animation folder. i make a new folder in there called Monsters. And say OK. Right, we're going to use all the slides. It's going to start the presentation automatically and it's going to auto play it for me. Right, when we've done all of that, we can click publish and that will now process the slides so they become a flash file. And it's opened up in a new window for me and here it is playing as a flash file. Okay, now one thing I did actually forget to show you is that we can actually add, I'll just add a third slide, insert a slide, a new slide, we'll have a new blank one. And uh, design, I'll just hide those graphics. I'll just put another picture in, background styles. And again, I'll get a new one from a picture. And I'll just choose this alien planet. OK, and close, there's the alien planet. I'm just going to add in a quick uh, robot. There's a pretty robot. OK, he's there. Now what I really want to do is to add a text box, insert a text box, which I'm going to make go the entire length at the bottom. So uh, one day, a pretty alien a robot rather, a pretty robot was walking on her planet. Okay. Now I'm going to fill that box. So I'm going to fill the whole of the text box. We'll just choose a light blue. And I'm going to make my writing include the full stop there. Make the writing much bigger. Change the font. 
and centralize it so we've used made a text box that goes the whole side now what I'm actually going to do now is going to insert a sound but I'm going to click this little arrow and actually record a sound um, so we'll just call it robot and I'm just going to read this one day a pretty robot was walking on her planet I'll just have a listen to that one day a pretty robot was walking on her planet and we'll say OK and that has now gone in as sound file which we want to play well we'll make this one first of all have an entrance and we'll have her spinning on shall we as she's a robot Let's, let's go to more effects and have a quick look see if we've got a spinning on or flying on. Let's have fly on. See what that does, fly on. Yep, she's going to fly on. So we'll have that OK. And we'll instead of from the bottom, we'll have her just fly on from um, the left. So she comes on like that. OK. And so very fast, just medium. That's better. So she's flying on. And then go to have the sound, which will come next after um, the robot sound needs to go down, so it comes on after she's appeared. We'll put start after previous, and that'll be me recording. So let's have a look, look at that. She comes on. One day, a pretty robot was walking on her planet. Okay, and I'm just going to move this text box up because it's slightly below it should be All right and that again I'm going to make disappear okay right and that should play now right what I'm going to do now is go to the home page and go to iSpring free and publish that called Monsters and publish it. Yes, we're just replacing the one that we made previously. And while that's waiting, I am going to open up a wiki page. And we're going to add that to a wiki, that flash file. We're going to add it to a wiki. So I'll just go into one of these wikis. And I'm just going to go into a test wiki that I have. All right, I'm going to create a new page. Call it Monsters. And create that. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a file. And I'm going to upload the file that I've just created, which has gone onto my desktop in the monsters file so it was in custom animations I put it in here and you will see that there's an index file but this one here is a shockwave flash object so that is the file I want to upload right, I'm going to click on it so it's inserted onto my wiki page and I'm going to make it bigger I'm make it go into the centre and I'm going to save it and hopefully we will have our PowerPoint presentation on this wiki page. And there it is. Just check all the animations have been saved. Yep. And the next page. Ah, oh, is it? One day a pretty robot was walking on her planet. I think that's converted it quite well. I had actually put that slide second instead of third before, so you need to check the order before you convert it. But this iSpring free is completely free and you can get it on the internet. That's a really good way of getting children's stories onto a wiki page.